Your life leads you with questions. Seek advice from under the sea. Dear Aquaman, dear Aquaman, please give your advice to me, Aquaman. <laughs> it is I, Aquaman. Bring me a letter. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> this letter reads, Dear Aquaman, last week I lost a very valuable ring at the beach. Can you help me look for it? Signed, Desperate. <laughs> no, I think once it's gone, it's gone. Sorry about that, you know, move on, blah, blah, possessions. Please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Hello! It is I, Aquaman, here to help. A fish arrives with a letter. What a surprise. It's very waterproof paper. This letter reads, Dear Aquaman, I am in high school and it seems the only way to be popular with boys is to have sex. What should I do? Signed, Saving It. <laughs> what do you want to do, Saving It? Be popular or save it? <laughs> Put out! <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you know, you must wait until you fall in love. <laughs> Uh, marriage is a very important time uh, the young people. Please give your advice to me, Aqualand. Hola, mis amigos del mar. Aquaman, aquí! Gracias, Ramon. Dear Aquaman, I have a nine-month-old puppy and it keeps humping my leg. What can I do? Well, be grateful. Please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Have no fear, Aquaman is here. The underwater advice stuff is about to begin. Thank you, Wanda. I love your new look. Just open this. Oh, the current is strong today. Oh. This letter reads, Dear Aquaman, one of my breasts is slightly larger than the other one. I want to know whether this is normal. Well, this is a hard one. And I would prefer not to comment without a thorough examination. That's why I wrote a letter to myself. Welcome! It is I, Aquaman, here with advice from the deep. I'm sorry, it's a bit stormy today. Oh, thank you, my fishy friend. Knock it off. All right, here is the letter. Dear Aquaman, I would like to be more experimental in bed. What should I do? Well, try dating an octopus. Eight arms, suction cups, and a beak. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Also, octopuses are renowned sluts. With your advice to me, Aquaman. Greetings, it is I, Aquaman. Think of me as a damp Dr. Phil. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> when did you get the hook out of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Aquaman, who is your daddy? It's a very good question. Here he is, I Aquadad. Aquadad. Swim faster, you old bastard. All right. They, uh, they don't make Aquaman like they used to. <laughs> this ocean is drafty. 
ask you something. All right. Why isn't your beard wet? My, my pants are. Yep, this is what I've got to look forward to then. Get off. Who, who said that? Why'd you need sunglasses under the water, you silly old coot? Who's talking? Shut up! I hate him. He doesn't understand me. Give your advice to me, Aquaman. Ooh, what's this orange thing? Is this a fish? Kind of. It is I, Aquaman, the Sage of Seaweed. Bring me a letter. Thank you, Betty. Get off. This letter reads... Uh, hold on, it's, there's a strong current flowing today. This letter reads, Dear Aquaman, who would win a fight between you and Aqualad? Well, let's find out. Aqualad! Oh. And please give your advice to me, Aquaman. <laughs> oh, excuse me, coming through, excuse me. <laughs> Fish, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Greetings! It's time for another dear Aquaman. Bring me a letter. Why, thank you, Madeline. <laughs> This letter reads, Dear Aquaman, in today's economy, where's the best place to put your money? Well, no matter what, I always keep my money in a safe place, right in the front of my fishy pants. As you can see, I'm a bit strapped for cash at the moment. But I'm hoping to grow my investments. Please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Oh, attention, land people. Prepare to soak yourself in a bath of undersea advice. Bring me the letter. Oh, you put on a little bit of weight, haven't you, Barbara? Nice swimming, by the way. Oh, it's very difficult to open this underwater. I'm not still swimming, I just have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> this letter reads, Dear Aquaman, who would win a swimming race? You or Michael Phelps? Ha ha ha! Me, of course. Michael Phelps is a mere pothead, whereas my superpowers come from all natural goodness and crystal mess. See you next time! Please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Welcome back, everybody. Get ready for some fresh undersea advice. Caught, filleted, and sautéed just for you. Hey! Thank you. I thought I fired you. <laughs> this letter reads, Dear Aquaman, is it true that some people eat blowfish testicles? <laughs> yes, it's true. And I'm fine with that, as long as those are the only ocean-going testicles being eaten. <laughs> Unless you buy me dinner first. Please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Oh, sorry, I was just bending over. <laughs> By the horn of Neptune, it is I, Aquaman, Nabob of Atlantis. Bring me a letter. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. And may I say that fish oil diet seems to be working wonders. <laughs> Dear Aquaman, I believe your son, Aqualad, has deflowered my daughter, the mermaid. <laughs> Aqualad, get in here! <laughs> Thanks for swimming. Aqualad! <laughs> Aqualad, is this true? Yes. I always thought you were gay. 
Way to go. No, I said no. Well, she called me at three o'clock in the morning. What was I meant to do? No, I, I don't know. I think they call it booty call. I don't know. Excuse me. So off you go. Careful! Oh, the currents are very strong today. Hello, mortals! It is I, Aquaman, here to help you. A letter from someone in need. Thank you, Henry. This one reads, Dear Aquaman, is it uncomfortable to wear your underwear outside of your tights? <laughs> yes, yes it is. What I do though is I tuck a couple of jellyfish into my tights. It stings a bit at first, but after a while you lose feeling. There's nothing going on. What? <laughs> See, nothing at all. Call a doctor. If you like these you with questions, seek advice from under the sea. Dear Aquaman, dear Aquaman, please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Featuring Tim Gunn. Tim Gunn. Hi, Tim Gunn here. Hey. For some reason. Hey. <laughs> You're not Aquaman. No, but that beard of yours is very fierce. Yeah. If you like that, how'd you like to see my trident? No. No, thank you. Please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Featuring Tim Gunn. Hi, I'm Tim Gunn. Aquaman's off with his so-called super friends. So I'll be taking your letters tonight. Thank you, David. Have you been working out? Have you been working out? Well, you're looking very good. He's very insecure about his abs. This letter reads, Dear Aquaman, I'm getting married next month and I want to lose 10 pounds. What should I do? Dancing is a great way to lose weight. Here, let Aqualad show you how. Now dance, Aqualad. Ten pounds. Featuring Tim Gunn. Tim Gunn here. Aquaman's off fighting Black Manta. So you're stuck with me, I guess. Thank you, Enrique. Dear Aquaman, my doctor says that partaking of an oily fish several times a week is good for my health. Is that true? Well, I've heard Aquaman partakes of an oily fish seven days a week. Her name's Nicole. Or is it Nick? I can't tell I'm not reaching under there. Featuring Tim Gunn. Hi, Tim Gunn here. For some reason. <laughs> Thank you, Apple. I miss the days when fish had normal names. What's this, un this undersea world coming to? I think you should take this one, Aquaman. Tim. Thank you, Tim. I can't believe that guy lied to you on Project Runway right out there in front of Heidi. I was like, oh, no, you didn't. Nah. It happens on land. <laughs> this letter reads, dear Aquaman, are you the gayest thing in the ocean or what? I think that's more of a rhetorical question, but I'll go ahead and answer it anyway. No! For your information, sir, I am the second gayest thing in the ocean, right behind Aqualad.
featuring Tim Gunn. Hi everyone, I'm Tim Gunn. Tonight I'll be answering a letter someone wrote to Aquaman. <laughs> Roll over, oh, just go. <laughs> Dear Aquaman, how come your hair never looks wet? My hair? Oh, you mean Aquaman's hair? It's because I wear a waterproof wig. But I think he stole it from Ellen DeGeneres. Please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Featuring Tim Gunn. Hi folks, Tim Gunn here. Aquaman's off taking care of some aqua business, so I'll be filling in. Thank you, buddy. I can never remember his name. To be honest, all those bondage guys look alike to me. Anyway, this letter reads, Dear Aquaman, my friends stopped talking to me, but I don't know what I did to them. What advice do you have? Forget them. Start anew with someone who doesn't have any friends. Might I suggest Aquaman's sidekick, Aqualad? All right, now get out of here, you pufferfish. He's like Robin, but gayer, if that's possible. 54? Uh, the... It's like Jay Leno is a fly. <laughs> I'll be back in uh, eight months. Uh, can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>